Hey everyone, welcome back to another XO Zeros episode. So today we will be discussing what does the future really hold for XO's Heroes. But before that, if you want an updated XO's Heroes content, please hit the subscribe button down below. Okay guys, before we dive into the future of XO's Heroes, let us discuss what is currently happening with XO's Heroes. So as you can see here, here are some of the shots that I got from SensorTower.com in terms of revenue garnered by Exos Heroes for the past month, okay? So as you can see, this data is as of July 2021, and this is a worldwide data, both for Apple and for Android users. So let's take a look at your Apple users or iOS users they have 10,000 down, 10,000 K downloads, and the revenue coming from um, these users are 300 K dollars, which is actually good. Their grade is actually A minus, which is pretty much still up there <clears throat> because it's an A, and their sensor score is at 87. If you take a look at um, Android. There's actually a majority of, uh, of of users or players using Android. So downloads are at 70k, which is times seven of your Apple user, iOS users, and revenue is also high at 700k, which brings Exos Heroes a total of a, of one million dollars revenue for the month of July 2021. So what does this tell us, guys? And but before that their grade here is an a so sensor score of 92 so what does it tell you guys um they are still doing good currently um they are doing good month to month um users have been coming into the game have been spending um to the game and with this i am just gonna you know just gonna um, um, do some deduction here they are still viable right now. Um, they are still good in terms of the market and players are still choosing EXOs because they are number one in terms of in terms of the design, the graphic again, they're still very good. Most of the new players are spending, which is good. And some of the old players are still there and are still spending. So this is what um, the current or the present for Exos Heroes is. Let's discuss more on the other details of the game in terms of what is currently uh, what is currently out or recently out. And again, we'll we'll drive our topic towards the future of the game. Okay, so in terms of what is new to the game, recently they added the Mystic or the Mythic class, which they have their Misty. So again, this is one of the things that you should look forward to the game, not the scout list, but in the journal. So you have here your Misty. She belongs to the first of the Mythic class. So again, um, they're they're elevating their game there. They're not going towards um, gear anymore. Um, they're going to more higher classes in terms of characters or heroes. So the gear R1 is just a simple upgrade, which is actually very good because you don't, you're not really required to destroy your existing gear for you to have your R2 gear. Okay, next we're going to talk about Arcverse. So Arcverse normally I, I can't see it here, but again, the game for Arcverse or real time, real time PvP, it's it kind of came a bit late and. Um, Right now, the system is still still has glitches. It's really sometimes difficult to come in. Um, not a lot of thrill because most of most of the rewards here are similar to Zivin's Tunier. But again, this is a good addition. Hopefully, they could still further fix this in terms of entry or game entry to this. Because for the past two weeks, I've had a difficulty in playing Arcverse. So again, this will kind of make or break their PvP because with Sibin's Tunier, you can't really go further anymore. So that is where Arcverse sits at. It's still a something that they should still improve in terms of gameplay, in terms of their servers. Okay, so for your Memorial Saga, this is actually, again, another game mode that 
um, similar to it, it's actually a PVE game mode, which is more or less similar to your chapters accomplishing a lot within the story. So this is story based as well. As you can see here, Hewon is going to tell you a tale. Um, more or less, again, this is this is good content, but um, it's more it's more for if I may say more for the beginners out there. For the more advanced players, this is um, going just to, you know, if you're trying to eat a snack, this is, I, I, I would compare it as this snack would not be as filling or you won't be full with this. So that is my take on, on Memorial Saga. So again, at least they have content out, but again, they ha still have to put out more content to satisfy, especially the old or the older um, players out there in terms of they started first, especially when the game came out. Okay, so as we discuss signature link, so it's here in your signature force or for those who don't know where it is. So it's for the two nations, Pedas and Shadow Bane. So it's similar to your signature signature force, but this actually is being paired with an existing signature force uh, nation. So this one. I'm also reserving my judgment for now. It's still the same mechanic. You still have to acquire copies of the general for that specific nation. So you can link and it actually consumes generals. Like for example here for Luna, if you don't have copies of her copy, copy that has been transcended, you can't actually do this. So again, kind of okay uh, with the system. It's similar to Signature Force in a way um the the what do you call this the the currency that is being sacrificed is the same so more or less this is just a pretty much a watered down signature force but again you know um i don't know um what are your thoughts guys on signature link is it really a watered down signature force so next would be your future content for the game just my thoughts guys i'm not sure as of this moment, what are their plans for future content? The last plan that they discussed was about um, it was about Memorial Saga, but again, it has been a while, and um, I've I've not been happy with the changes so far. Um, I'm still playing the game um, daily, of course. It's more of right now a just a daily grind. It's kind of lowering my interest for the game, but again, I'm I I, I really love the game. I still want to play. It. That is why I'm playing it every day. <clears throat> okay, but anyway, guys, as far as the game is concerned, <clears throat> there is still a market for this game. More or less, your game, your the, the average player or the most of the players actually uh, value autoplay. Um, terrific autoplay, various sources of zest, of course, for summoning, especially at this stage. I'm currently not spending anymore in terms of uh, for zest because I'm at a point where I can farm that much uh, before the gold banner, the next gold banner hits. So I don't spend that much anymore on zest. So again, this game is self-sustaining eventually, which is very good for for you know for for older players. And most, I think most of the spending goes to the newer players right now. And because of the character design, 3D design, costume design, nation design, this game really appeals to those who are into this um, type of game in terms of the graphics, the design, the story, of course. Very, very good. Very interesting story. And... There is really a market for XO Zeros. You can't deny it. Um, it's a very good, you know, um, leave it at your desk game. Just click autoplay. Then while you're doing your work or you're doing something else, the game plays itself. And once you actually are interested in playing it manually, then you can do it manually as well. Okay. The next topic is everyone has been asking, where's Dorka? I don't know where Dorka is. <laughs> But if I do find her, I'll tell you guys where she is. I am actually waiting for her as well. So I'm not interested in in, in the FCs that are coming out. I'm actually waiting for Dorka because I have been building Brun for quite a while. And I need FC Dorka for 
to you know to modify some of my teams um what else content for this for the game guys again would be probably the way of exos heroes it won't differ that much so again i'm not expecting much for content for them it would i would be happier if they would put out very interesting and uh, nice content up to the level of the, the the older players who have joined the game since launch and again for the newer players the game is still going to be magical it's going to be magical the way that the the game has been built um i think it's it's still going to you know be of interest to new players and i'm happy that new play, new players and old players are currently supporting the game um in terms of um, spending for the game i'm actually happy because um if we all have free to play players the game won't last long so that's it for me guys so exo zeros now is still um good very good down the line again i'm looking at six months i'm not sure where they're going to end up but we'll see i'm actually optimistic that they can still turn this game around hopefully soon and i'm still looking forward and very excited to what exos heroes will come up in the future again guys i will continue to cover exos heroes i will not leave this game i will support all you guys and always put out the content that all of you deserve okay guys thank you for for you know for sticking this far in this video um please subscribe if you find this very informative also click the bell icon and also put a like to this video if you find this video entertaining and guys stay safe take care this is the warden and i'm out of here